Turkey hosts nearly three million Syrians fleeing conflict in their own country. Many live and work in Turkish towns and cities alongside local residents. More than a quarter of a million live in camps. Since January 2016, Syrians have had the right to work in Turkey. But many people here lack the professional skills to take advantage. A pilot project run in three camps by UNIDO, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, and funded by the government of Japan, is giving those wanting to work the best training to do so. This instruction will give these women the skills required to work in a modern apparel factory. We train people who may not have worked at all in their lives. In the very beginning, we increase their dexterity by giving them uh, simple exercises that increase hand and eye coordination. And by the end of two months, they will have learned how to operate the machinery, how to put together basic textile garments, and how to take the commands and work in a factory, and also have received uh, a certificate from the Ministry of Education in Turkey. So we try to get them ready to start working in a factory immediately after they have finished the, tr the training. So far, more than 500 women have received training certificates. Other women have been trained in pattern making and in line supervision. UNIDO has also trained instructors from the Ministry of Education so they can teach correct operation of this modern machinery. The difference the training makes can be life-changing. وقت اللي توفى زوجي يعني توقعت إنه الدنيا وقفت سكرت بوشي يعني إنه ما بقى في أمل إنه يكمل يعني وقت اللي إجت دورة الخياطة حسيت إنه أنا إذا تعلمت خياطة بقدر أقدم شيء وبقدر للعائلة إنه تقدر تكمل يعني ما توقف هذا اللي قدم لي هذا. Camps are often in remote locations and a job in a factory can be far away. At Islahia, production line training is put into practice. Women here have produced more than 2,000 t-shirts for school children in the camp. Working flexible hours allows the women to balance work with childcare. In time, the aim is to get more people out into the workplace. There are more than 50,000 textile and clothing companies in Turkey, employing around 2 million people. Increasingly, the industry is looking to target higher-end customers. Top brands like Versace, Reese and Diesel produce high-quality clothes here that are sold all over the world. The companies producing those goods need well-trained and motivated staff. In Turkey, UNIDO is working with three agencies. AFAD, the Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, which is responsible for the management of the camps, Turkey's Ministry of National Education, and IKIP, Istanbul's Apparel Exporters Association. The future of Syria and its people remains unclear, but one thing is certain. Women here are keen to work and gain financial independence. This successful pilot project is helping them get closer to that goal. The feedback we get is incredibly positive. They are very eager to start working. Some of them want to start their own businesses. And now they look at their future with a lot more confidence. They can go and work. They can buy clothes they want, be independent perhaps. So they have uh, an ability to realize their dreams. Our project designs to uh, focus to empower the Syrian refugees, women in the camps. This is because 
the, those living in the camps are the most vulnerable, therefore in need of assistance. Government of Japan will continue to work for the betterment of the Syrian refugees as a part of its contributions, proactive contributions to the peace in the world.